Toby Barnett with Barnett Associates team and Keller Williams North Sound here just uh, for a quick tip on uh, prepping a house for sale or if you encounter this when you're purchasing one. So inevitably when you're buying and selling, selling a piece of property and you've owned it for a period of time, you've probably accumulated some paint cans uh, from all the years, exterior colors, interior colors, but a lot of times your new buyer is not going to want to actually take on some of that. So what do you do with those old paint cans? And I've sent out uh, email newsletters and posted it on our Facebook before, but thought a video might help with some examples. Um, so have you ever encountered this? You know, when you buy a house, the seller leaves everything or you're the homeowner and you're wondering what to do with all that uh, chemicals and stuff. It's just like, where do you take this stuff? So where I tell people is to Google Snohomish County Hazardous Waste. And I'll also put the link in the description of this video. Uh, they take your paint cans. They take old propane tanks. Um the fire extinguishers, that kind of stuff. I would go to their website and check out the list of what they do and do not carry, but take. Uh, some stuff has a fee, but uh, a lot of times I go there, it, uh, they take a lot of the stuff for free. Um, but that may have changed as well. And also, uh, like, oil, like, you can't really see them in the video behind me, or the stuff behind me. But there's motor oils, uh, oil filters and stuff. Check with your local transfer station, your local garbage dump. Uh, I know the Arlington Transfer Station up here in North County has uh, free oil disposal, so you can just take that stuff out there. That way it's just not building up in your garage, and then when you're going to sell, you have to worry about it. So check out Snohomish County Hazardous Waste uh, website, as well as Google your local city plus uh, transfer station and see what materials they take as well. So if you got all that old junk just laying around, around the house, taking up space that you're not sure what to do with, give those people a, a try and I, I'm sure they'll help you out. That way you, you don't have to deal with you know this at the time of move or if you buy a place you at least, and the seller leaves it and you don't know where to take it, now you know. So anyways, hope you uh, this helps with your, your move and getting rid of all some of that old junk lane around the house. But anyways, again, Toby Barnett with Keller Williams North Sound and the Barnett Associates team here to help you out. Have a good day. Toby Barnett with Keller Williams North Sound and the Barnett Associates team for a follow-up regarding all the disposal of the hazardous waste or the latex paint cans that... Um, that were left at a, at a seller's home. So that day I went out to the Snohomish County Health uh, Hazardous Waste Department. It's out on McDougal in Everett. And to dispose of everything in the back of that pickup cost me $30. Um, and because uh, you pay for the latex paint and it wasn't all latex paint so they could take some of it for free. While I was there, I received uh, a couple note cards that showed what they do and do not take so just some brief stuff that they do take is aerosol spray cans antifreeze uh batteries bleach brake fluid chemistry sets drain cleaner paint thinners photography chemicals pool chemicals propane tanks rechargeable batteries uh solvents thermostats transmission fluid motor oil oil filters you know uh, a lot of stuff that we can just accumulate around the household that you know either takes up space, gets old, or when we're moving, that we need to figure out ways to get a hold, uh, dispose of it. So check out the Snohomish County Health Department or Snohomish County Hazardous Waste website. Um, it's snowco.org/slash. Oh, I do do do. Yeah, snowco.org slash solid waste. 
So just go to there and they'll show, have everything on there as well. And I'll also put a link down in the bottom of the description of the video so you can just go there and check it out yourself. But I uh, hope that helps when you're trying to move and sell your place and or if you bought a place and there's a whole bunch of stuff left in the garage, which typically is. So just go and check out their website and see how an easy way to get it disposed of, get it out of your hair, and uh, free up some of that extra space. Well, if we could be of any help, give us a holler and look forward to seeing you on the next video.